guys, it's Tyler Peregrine, and we're back with another episode of Thank God It's Happy Hour. This week, we've got a super flavorful and sort of novel twist on what is basically an old-fashioned, the Toronto. So let's get into it. So the Toronto first appears in a 1922 cocktail book uh, written by Robert Vermeer called Cocktails, How to Mix Them. And in that book, he refers to this drink as simply the Fernet cocktail. In the book, he also noted that the cocktail was um, greatly favored by the Canadians of Toronto. So, you know, it's definitely got that going for it as well. The original cocktail, as he wrote it, featured equal parts of rye whiskey and Fernet Branca, which is a super bitter uh, Italian aperitif. Uh, modern variations definitely tone down the Fernet and add a little bit of sugar, but we're going to try one of the original um, specifications first, and then we'll compare the two uh, together. So, like I said, equal portions of Fernet and rye. I'm just going to do an ounce of each to make it easy. And an ounce of our rye. And there was a single dash of Angostura bitters as well. And that's it. So let's uh, shake this guy up with ice and we'll strain it out and give it a try. got a nice color but immediately as you open the container and you shake it you can smell the Fernet. It's a very heavy dose of Fernet. So let's give it a shot. It smells good. It has a very, well if you smell Fernet it's like that but a little bit tempered by the whiskey. To me it's very like sort of an autumnal kind of scent. It's nice. It's somewhat familiar, but also like there's certain like the Fernet adds a certain element that it's difficult to place, but also it's nice. It smells good. I'm just gonna give it a shot. It's very bitter. This is definitely like if you like extremely bitter, sort of almost astringent cocktails, like this even like you know the Negroni is nowhere near as bitter th as this. Um, you really have to get into like Fernet based cocktails to really get the flavor, which is sort of, I've heard it described as like minty charcoal, which in this, in this cocktail, you get that. It's like both mentholated, but then also this like earthy, bitter sort of flavor. It's not, it's not bad, but if you order the, if a regular person ordered this at a bar and this is what they got, it would probably Yeah, it's a lot to handle. I'm still not gonna say it's bad, but it's definitely a very powerful flavor coming out of that. The more modern recipes definitely more closely resemble something like an old fashioned versus something like this, which is sort of in a league of its own. So for that guy, we are going to start with two ounces of our rye. And then we're gonna do a quarter ounce each of simple syrup. And our Fernet. I usually add a touch more than a half, but a quarter ounce is definitely a good place to start uh, if you haven't tried the drink before. And like the classic, get a couple dashes of Angostura in there as well. And like before, we just shake it up over ice and strain it into our drink. So 
the color is a little bit toned down, but relatively similar. And there you go, the more modern revival of the Toronto cocktail. So the aroma is definitely way toned down. You really, you know, the rye is definitely driving the aroma. You get a little bit of the Angostura, a little bit of the Sara Amaro characteristics of the Vernet as well, but really the rye is the star of the show. And yeah, definitely for, you know, a more modern palette, this is definitely a little bit more balanced. You still definitely do get a good dose of bitterness out of the Vernet, even though we're adding sugar and all this other stuff, it really just takes it from something that's like really bitter and astringent with not a huge amount of flavor. It's more like what's, it's more the feeling of it in your mouth than the actual flavor of the drink. This one, you get a little bit more of the actual like herbal flavors from the Vernet. I think partially due to the little bit extra sugar in there. But yeah, it's nice. It's again, it's autumnal. It's a nice twist on a drink that I think we all know sort of in the form of the old fashioned. Yeah, it's like warm and comforting. It's not actually warm, but it gives you those sort of like warm fuzzy feelings, but it's not too sweet. It's not like one noted. It's not like a gimmicky fall cocktail, sort of um, like some definitely can be. It's nice, it's subtle. I mean, it's great. This is probably one of my favorite variations on like whiskey cocktails in general, is a Toronto, so it's, uh, I definitely enjoy this one. So there you go, the classic Toronto and then the more modern sort of revival version. If you like this sort of thing, these sort of historical cocktails and then the more modern day recreations, be sure to give us a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like to see a specific cocktail that we haven't done yet, let us know down in the comments. But otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.